So what is Lightning Network? Can I really send Bitcoin to anyone instantly without any fees? So stick around and I will answer these questions. Welcome to Web3 Crypto, our educational YouTube channel about crypto and blockchain technology. We're excited to have you join us as we explore the world of decentralized systems, digital currencies and smart contracts. Our channel is dedicated to providing in-depth and easy to understand explanation of the latest developments in the field, from Bitcoin and Ethereum to newer altcoin and cutting edge blockchain applications. We cover it all. Whether you're a seasoned crypto veteran or just starting to learn about this fascinating technology, we have something for you. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell to stay up to date on our latest video and join the conversation in the comment section. Let's dive into the world of blockchain and crypto together. Before we can fully understand the purpose and the potential of the Lightning Network, it's important to first understand the limitation of the current Bitcoin infrastructure. Bitcoin as the first decentralized digital currency, while revolutionary, has several limitations that has become more apparent as the network has grown. Some of these limitations include scalability. The current infrastructure of the Bitcoin network is not able to handle a large number of transactions per second. It's coded to only perform around 7 transactions per second, leading to slow transaction time and high fees. This can make it impractical for use in day-to-day -day transactions. Visa, on the other hand, can process over 50,000 transactions per second, and their fees are very low. These limitations have led to the creation of the Lightning Network. Lightning Network is a layer 2 payment protocol that operates on the top of blockchain. It enables for faster and lower cost transaction solution. Before we can fully understand the purpose and potential of the Lightning Network, it's important to first understand all sorts of other layer 1s and layer 2s. So what does that mean? Well, it's pretty simple. Gold has served as a layer one solution, providing security and economic value for thousands of years. However, it has limitation. When it comes to being used as a medium of exchange, as it's heavy, difficult to measure, and hard to divide into smaller units, to overcome these limitations, a layer two solution was developed in the form of paper claims on gold. These claims, such as banknotes and certificates, could be easily carried around, traded and redeemed for actual gold, making transactions more convenient. Similarly, Bitcoin's layer 1 provides security and decentralization, but can be slow and have high fees. And this is where the Lightning Network comes in. As we mentioned earlier, the Lightning Network is built on the top of Bitcoin blockchain and are specially designed to facilitate micropayments. So if Bitcoin is a layer one, the Lightning Network is a layer two solution. So how does the Bitcoin Lightning Network work? To use the Lightning Network, you and the peer open a payment channel by locking some Bitcoin in a smart contract. So the basic concept behind the Lightning Network is payment channels. For example, let's say Alice want to send Bob some Bitcoin instead of sending them directly they open an off-chain payment channel by creating a transaction that locks up some Bitcoin from both of their wallets. Then they can make multiple transactions between each other, updating the balance of the channel without the need to broadcast them to the blockchain. When they are done, they can close the channel by broadcasting the final balance to the blockchain, which allows them to transact directly without the need of broadcast every transaction to the blockchain. The Lightning Network also allows for multiple hop payments, where a user can send the payments to another user through several intermediaries. This allows for more privacy as the intermediaries only know the source of the destination of the payment, not the full transaction history. It also allows for the creation of payment hubs, which are nodes that have multiple channels open with different users. These hubs can route payment through the network. 
allowing users to transact with each other even if they don't have a direct channel. So the main benefit of the Lightning Network is that it allows for faster and cheaper transactions as it reduces the need to broadcast every transaction to the blockchain. Do you use or plan to use Bitcoin Lightning Network? Let me know in the comments and see you in the next one.